First thing I want to say is thank the DSS and the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation because consistently on this program we demanded that Kano should be brought to court mm. because IPOP had issued a warning that if he was not brought to court that they would declare 30 days sit at home in the southeast. My own argument had always been that, look, if you said you were going to put him on trial, then why wouldn't you allow him to appear in court to answer for, for his crime against the state? Hmm. July 26, he was supposed to be in court as demanded uh, by the judge. But the DSS failed to produce him and gave all kinds of excuses. But thankfully, reason prevailed and they brought him to court. Now we know that there will be no need for 30 days sit at home in the southeast. Mm. The prevailing situation in the southeast is that the people fear IPOP more than they fear Government. the state. Mm. When the state gives instruction, they don't listen. Well, if IPOP issues an instruction, everyone will stay inside their homes. This is the thing. And it's inflicting pain on our people in the southeast. Businesses are dying. Crippled, because yeah. for look at this week, for example, for like three days, people have really not worked. Hmm. You know? Hmm. So we, we can't go on like this uh, for too long. IPOP has said, look, we will only declare sit at home on the days that Kano will be brought to court. But we have a band of young men carrying guns, executing an earlier, uh, uh, an order that has already been revoked by forcing people to stay in their homes every Monday. That's why I pop itself has already said, no, we are no longer interested in having it, people it, sit at home. Did on, you know, on, at that point, Mondays. you are wondering if it is in obedience to IPOP's instruction or having to do with government's difficulty in maintaining law and order? Neither. Mm. Neither. The, the people are scared of being killed by other groups, other separatist groups. Remember, Senator Baribé said, look, there are more than 30 separatist groups now that are mm. out there. The truth is, even IPOP finds it difficult to get these renegade groups to listen to his instruction. Yeah. Because yeah. if IPOP says, no, we are no longer interested in mm. uh, doing sit at home on Mondays, why uh, is the sit at home why still it, being why enforced? Is it enforced? Yeah. And the guys who are enforcing are clearly not listening to anyone. You know, clearly not listening to anyone. So it's a good thing. And when they were saying we wanted to know whether Unam Dikano is dead or not, I'm happy Unam Dikano was brought to court and everyone could see that he was he was alive uh, and well. looking uh, I mean he was <laughs> alive and well. In fact looking uh, uh, robust, hmm. meaning that he had not uh, been subjected to torture yeah. in the in, 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 in detention. So it's a good thing. Let's have him brought to court. He's facing he, he has to be seen to be given fair trial. Mm. a fair chance to defend himself against the crimes that the state uh, have come up against him. So this is, this, this is the thing. I'm, I, I'm happy that at least they let reason prevail. We didn't make that demand for nothing. That demand, they listened to that demand and now there won't be a touchy day uh, sit at home in the southeast. Yeah. Uh, Paul, you know, uh, let's look at it from this angle. The Anambra election is slated for November 6. Uh, Namdi Kanu's next date in court is november 10th four days after between now and then do you see any fireworks <laughs> uh, well definitely you know some people would want to uh, capitalize on the situation uh, to like we said there are other groups that yeah. would want to uh, capitalize on the situation in the southeast to foment uh, trouble you know many times we, we've seen we've heard ipop say look we're not responsible for this we're not responsible for this attack and that attack. Even though the authorities readily call IPOP the culprit. But IPOP will always come out to say, we are not the culprit. We are not mm. responsible for this. So I think... So I th who is? Well, 
God knows. Be besides the unknown government. God knows. This, this is why, uh, when, when I hear uh, the authorities say, I pop, I pop, sometimes, I, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not standing, uh, I'm not uh, speaking for Hold, I holding, yeah, but brief. sometimes, you want to hold it with a pinch of salt. Because when you say, I pop, I pop, ESN, have you arrested them? Where is the evidence? Mm. And that is also, well, I'm also very concerned, in this, similarly, with this case. I hope that the DSS, the AGF, have prepared their case very well. I have seen. So, uh, so we don't have a long drawn exactly, out thing. Exactly, a long drawn out thing. We've seen cases that were dismissed because of lack of diligent prosecution, because the, the evidence brought against the, the defendant or accused person is mm. very weak. Mm. There was one interesting case that we're all aware of. Um, the mother of uh, um, uh, Kudirat Adola. Okay. Okay. And, um, you know, that case it was of public interest. And then um, I, I was a judiciary correspondent then. I was there when the High Court sentenced the, the accused persons to, to, to death. And I was there when the three wise men of the appeal, yeah. appeal court. And when they started giving reasons, mm. There was no ballistician's reports. Hmm. The, the, ju the judges said, look, there was no doubt that Kudra Tabela was killed. Hmm. Who killed her is the person in this court. So we need to, we, we, they need to prepare their case very well. It is in the interest of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is in the interest of DSS. It is in the interest of Nandi Khan that will be given a fair trial. Mm. And then I also, I also think that, I also, I also hope that there will not be frivolous preliminary objections. Mm. Of course, Kano had the right to, he, he had, of course, he has just filed a preliminary objection now, yeah. contesting the jurisdiction of the court. Yeah. It's common, they do that. Uh, in law, jurisdiction is key. Jurisdiction is key. But I hope that the judge, uh, the judge will also be courageous enough not to entertain frivolous it, it, applications from lawyers. Yeah.